17. That's the number of patients who die every day because the organ they need just isn't available in time. And the problem is worse among minorities. That's according to data from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. August is National Minority Donor Month, and advocates are hoping to bring attention to the need for donors from underrepresented groups. Jennifer Bellamy has tonight's Voices for Equality. Each day in the United States, more than a million people wait for a transplant, some of them potentially life-saving, and 60% of them are minorities. That's according to One Legacy Foundation, a group that advocates for organ, eye, and tissue donations. And while minority groups are among those that need some of these transplants the most, many are reluctant to become donors. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Minority Health, conditions commonly found in minority communities can put people at an increased risk for organ failure. Hispanics, for example, disproportionately suffer from high rates of diabetes and heart disease. In the black community, it's conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. And while diabetes and heart disease are less prevalent among Asian Americans and other minority groups, they suffer significantly from liver disease and hepatitis. According to the Office of Minority Health, the number of Hispanics who received organ transplants in 2020 was about 30 percent of the total number of Hispanics on waiting lists. For blacks, the number was 27.7 percent, and for Asian Americans, 24.7 percent. That's all compared to about 48.8 percent for whites. Language barriers, myths, and a lack of trust are some of the challenges to minority organ donation, like an anticipated lack of medical care during the process. And while shared ethnicity isn't required, a more diverse donor registry gives minorities on the waiting list a better chance at finding a good match. Well, here's some more numbers to consider. So a donor can save eight lives when they die just by donating their kidneys, pancreas, their liver, heart, lungs, and intestines. People who donate tissues can help as many as 75 people. And don't forget, living donors can also help save lives right now while they're still alive.